Hey y'all and welcome to CC's Texas Garden. So I am going to link in the description down below. I just did a live with Miss T with the T and uh, so I'm wearing the same fit because it is the same day. But I'm going to post that video down below in the description so you can check out uh, the live that I did with her. But I was also going to go ahead and do my end of July garden tour because some things are going to be changing after today. So I want to show y'all some stuff before it's gone. And what will be going is this. So this is my deal. My deal is going to seed. So I'll be collecting these seeds from my deal. This is mammoth deal. So I'll plant that again. Uh, probably sometime in the fall. Um, as you can see, a lot of the flowers are starting to die out in the back part. The Benjamin buttons are um, dying out. Now the zinnias and the marigolds are still looking good. But guys, as you can tell, <laughs> they are leaning. They are <laughs> truly leaning over here. And what I decided to do is I am going to take my loppers or my hedge choppers or whatever you want to call them and I am going to cut down down below um, down cut all this off and I'm going to plant in some sunflowers and some other flowers that can adjust to the cold cooler temperatures that when we get our fall starting to come in I want those plants to be established and to have some winter flowers coming up okay so we're going to go ahead in the garden and we're going to start off with my corn thank goodness it's cool right now it was hot all day this morning so this is my corn this is the corn that the insects was eating up the caterpillars were having a heyday with my corn so guys corn is in the grass family and so I cut them a low down to the little stock areas and they are coming back up and they're giving me tassels so I may have a chance to have some corn may or may not I don't know <laughs> and also over here we have Florida broadleaf mustard green in July in Texas garden <laughs> guys this has been here since the fall and i'm so proud of this mustard green and you see these beautiful yellow flowers they are going to produce seeds and these are going to be magical seeds you know why because i'll be able to plant these um that has uh, adjusted to our texas temperatures and um this plant has adjusted to the temp the hot temps over here in Texas so I will be able to have mustard greens late in the season look at these beautiful leaves these are going to be delicious we'll be planting some of my fall seeds in here so they can start uh, germinating over here this is my cinnamon basil going to seed and next to it is my lemon basil I'm allowing them both to go to seed so I can collect all those seeds. We have our lovely lemongrass. Guys, y'all know I love some lemongrass. I always want to keep that going in my garden. So I have that. This bed here that's open, I have already planted uh, patty pan squash. I have I think about five seeds in there and we'll see what comes up for so we can try to plant some squash so if you tried to plant squash earlier and the squash vine bore got to it go try to plant it again guys um, you may be successful this time so I planted me some out down here this bed is empty I've been putting amendments in the soil uh, I'm thinking I'm going to plant purple kohlrabi in here just gonna pack that with some purple kohlrabi this will be my first year growing that this tomato y'all this is the large red cherry tomato it is still 
growing in this heat it is still having tomatoes on it flowers on it so this tomato here this plant has adjusted to the heat and still is here in this container here I have some carrots yep I have some carrots going in July I just planted them not too long ago here is basil here's another sweet basil on this back side I'm gonna have to climb in this bed y'all <laughs> um, I have my Chinese red noodle beans and they are going all the way up here that one is going to the tip up there let me see what the temperature is right now it is almost 90 degrees so that's not too bad <laughs> uh on here we already have look guys we already have a long noodle bean look at that here's another one coming yay we're gonna have some uh long chinese noodle beans now i'm gonna come on out of this bed here along here is my grapevines which they did not produce grapes for me this year but that's okay this is the second year so i'm gonna give it to the third year to produce something so over here is all my okra i did pick some okra while i was on miss t's show and so if you go in there and check out i already picked my okra here in this bed there was a tomato there as you can see it is gone I moved that pink um, pink egg tomato out of there it's gone and I put this little succulent right here but my peppers I wanted to give my macho nacho pepper a chance to to um, get some sunlight so I do have some peppers on there and this one got a little sun scorched here look at that ouch it did <laughs> okay over here in this part I have longhorn okra which is these two big plants here and Bubba okra is down there these are like dwarf small okra plants but they produce regular sized okra back here this is a more shaded area I have some Georgia collards growing right here on this first aisle and the second aisle I have Georgia collards and flash collards I know I need to give it more space if they get too big I can always move them to another area then I have Armenian cucumbers and pickling national pickling cucumbers in there now let's go back here I have two honeydew melons I have one here and another one right here so honeydews in here lemon basil I have a couple zinnia flowers growing in here and also a longhorn okra so that's like a combination bed there these two in the front right here these are my tomatillos they didn't really produce for me this year so yeah sad but I'm gonna leave them in here so when the fall comes they may start producing I'm gonna go over here and guys in this container I have three plants these are Kajari melons and let me pull this around here so y'all can see my baby look at my little baby Kajari melon I'm gonna put some netting around it and kind of help support it but um, this seed here these are uh, from India so it's a melon from India and it produces an orange flesh on the outside and then inside is more like a cantaloupe so it's kind of orange inside as well uh, I'm gonna taste it because I don't like cantaloupe but I'm gonna taste it and see if I like the Kajari melon 
I have my strawberries that they're not producing not much of berries they're a few every once in a while I might get a little berry but they're pretty much now just doing runners so that I can uh, have them for the next year this is my wild uh, no thornless blackberry not my wild bush this is my thornless blackberry as you can see it's branched out a new branch for the new year the season when it comes along the older branches they die off I have three hibiscus uh, plants here so I am wanting some hibiscus tea y'all so I'm hoping these things will start producing some uh, pods these are my knockout roses I have my lemongrass look how tall let me back up y'all look at that tall lemongrass there nice I have my fig my Celeste fig here and look at this my watermelon yep I'm in it y'all the watermelon wars I have watermelon finally growing these are Charleston gray watermelons we have sweet potatoes over here I'm gonna keep this bucket and this container to the end of the summer maybe even September before I will pull these and see what's in there we have more strawberries here is lantana and I have pineapple back there rosemary here some more tomatillos some peppers that haven't produced yet got some Swiss chard some aloe so and this celery I got that from the store and I put the bottom in some water got some roots going and I put it in dirt last but not least what I am showing y'all are my fall seedlings yes guys I have started my fall seedlings and another set of tomatoes I have Roma tomatoes and Swiss chard in here I got green beans I have a uh, butternut squash I'm gonna plant some more of um, what are these these are what are these did I not mark them I don't remember what these are oh let's see there purple broccoli <laughs> they're purple broccoli all in those and what do we have eggplant got some eggplant popping up this is a lettuce and so we have a variety of different things that I am growing for my fall seeding seedings seedlings and then in another week or so I'll start dropping some more seeds to produce some more plants all right guys I hope you enjoyed this July garden tour make sure that you go and check out miss t with the t i will put it in the description you go and check out our live that we had together this morning and y'all have a wonderful and blessed day bye